welcome. Today we're going to learn how to import Google Sheets data to Airtable using Data Fetcher. So it's really simple to import data from Google Sheets into Airtable. All you need is the free Data Fetcher Airtable extension and to follow the step-by-step -step guide. So when you arrive onto your Airtable base, you do want to install the Data Fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this extension button, and then you can select add an extension, this big blue button, and you can search for Data Fetcher, really nice and simple in the search bar in the top right hand corner. This should pop up, you can select add and then select add extension. Fantastic. So once that loads up, you will be prompted to create a free data fetcher account, or you can simply continue with Google. When you arrive onto the following page, it's time to import your data. So you can select the create your first request button. So we're going to title this request fetch Google Sheets data. And now for the application, we're going to search for Google Sheets, nice and simple, that should pop up right here. And then we're going to select new Google Sheets connection. Here you'll be prompted to connect your Google account to Data Fetcher. So you can go ahead and do that. And here we'd like to select see and download all your Google Drive files and see, edit, create and delete all your Google Sheets spreadsheets. So we want to give that full access to Data Fetcher so that it can import that information to your Airtable. Once you've selected those, you can select continue. And now we're going to select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Now for the spreadsheet, you want to go ahead and select the spreadsheet that you have already created in your Google Sheets account. So as you can see, I already have this prepared in my Google Sheets. And so that allows me to import that to the spreadsheet. Then we're going to select the sheet. We're going to go for latest and for major dimensions, select whether your data is stored in rows or columns in your spreadsheet. So rows is pre-selected by default, but you can choose this. I'm going to leave it as rows this time. Then we want to make sure that the first row in sheet is field names. So this is set as true as default, but you can toggle this off simply by turning that from green to gray by clicking the little toggle if you would prefer to do that. So essentially, this means that the field names will be taken from the first row in the spreadsheet here. Or if no field names have been specified, then toggle this option off to set them yourself when the spreadsheet data imports. So you can just turn that off there. Then you want to make sure the output table and view are set to the air table you want to import the sheets data into. So as you can see, this is the default, but this is the only one that I have in my air table right now. And then you can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Fantastic. Select continue. And now we're brought through to the response field mapping. This is where you can decide which fields you would like to have imported into your Airtable. So for each field, you can either import or filter it out simply by turning the toggles from green to gray. You can also filter all if you want to turn all of the toggles off at once or import all to turn them all on. And you can either map data to a new field or to an existing field and you can retitle those here as well. So you can also set the type of the Airtable fields. So for this type, we're going to go ahead and set both the unit cost which you can see here, and the total fields to currency. So just down here, you can click on this drop down menu, select currency and go ahead here as well, change that to currency too. Then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, these fields are now being created. Select show output table. And if we scroll over to the right hand side, we can close this extensions over so that you can see your table more clearly. You can see all of that data has been imported. So now if you'd like to go one step further and keep these automatically synchronized with the records in your Google Sheets, you need to go to the extensions option back in the top right hand corner to reopen those settings that you have already created for this request. So that'll bring you straight to your request. So you can open that fetch Google Sheets data up. And now we're going to scroll down to the advanced settings here all the way to the bottom. 
then you can scroll and we're looking for update based on field. So we have this here. Select reference number from the drop down menu and this needs to be a unique field such as an ID, order number or reference number to keep our Airtable's record in sync with the rows in our Google Sheets. So once you've done that, you can select save and now we actually need to schedule this request. So if you scroll back up, you'll see the schedule option still in these settings that we've created for the Fetch Google Sheets data. You will only see this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. So if you haven't yet done that, go ahead and do that so that you can keep all of your records synchronized in real time. Then when you come back here, you should now see this as the following. You will be prompted to add your API API key. So if you select add API key, you can then click on the button that you're prompted to click, which will bring you to your Airtable account overview. Here you can generate your API key simply by clicking on that button, copy over your API key and paste it back into the input box here. Once you've done that, you can select save. And now as you can see, this automatically schedules the request. It turns that toggle on. So you can select the interval of how often you would like this request to run every one hours, every single day of the week, or if you'd like for that to happen more frequently, then you can select save again in the bottom right hand corner and then close that window over. So today, hopefully you have learned how to import Google Sheets data to Airtable via Data Fetcher. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com, where we also have a full length blog on this exact topic. So you can have a read of that as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.